Okay, so this is our storage facility at South Street. It's where we store all of our scenery. We have over 100 containers in the yard. Most productions take on average about three containers to house. Uh, the scenery, um, once it's finished touring, come, comes off the stage into our transportation to this yard and then we take it straight from the wagon and put it straight into containers, which is a really good way of storing the scenery because we know exactly how it's been handled previously and of course we can maintain it during the storage process, make sure it's packed correctly, ready for revival. Figaro is an example of that situation. Um, we have worked on Figaro about six years ago. The initial process is it was built at Scottish Opera Workshops. It goes through its build phase, it goes through a painting, and then it gets handed over to me. It's my job to make sure that the set is built in the rehearsal room so that the, so that the singers can rehearse on it and get used to the scenery. It gives us the opportunity to learn about the scenery, make any adjustments that we need to make that we've done previously. Um, of course, there's a revival, so most of, the, uh, most of the scenery we've handled before. But there may be some more, small adjustments and a, small, a slight learning process. We might want to improve how we built a piece of scenery previously. Well, I've been here now six years, six years working at Scottish Opera. I kind of got hooked on opera, the scale of opera, um, the diversity in opera, the way that the projects overlap and there is an energy behind the process. Of course, the finished product is completely different from where we're standing today. What happens beyond this storage process is very intense. Um, there's a lot of people giving each piece of scenery uh, the scrutiny that it requires. It's, it's about the music. Fundamentally, it's about the music. Over the years, it's, it's always been about the spectacle that's provided with the opera. And scenery is at the forefront of that. That's one of the main reasons I, um, you know, I love theatre, is we turn up in a space, we start at about 9.30 in the morning, by 10.30 at night, uh, it's finished. Um, of course, it's part of my job is then to, to sit out front and, and just, just really make sure that it's situated properly, that we have our borders in place, our masking in place, that it looks neat and tidy, that it's clean, um, that it's of the standard that's required. And that's a really enjoyable part of my process, is sitting back and you know, having played with that giant jigsaw puzzle put it all together and then we've got this fantastic set in front of us.